Hello everyone, doing another video. Today we're looking at Exxon Mobil, symbol XOM, is $115, was two, three years ago, $30. So this thing has quadrupled in not a lot of time. However, funny thing about Exxon, it still looks very cheap. Is this a good valuation is the question. I'm going to use the Seeking Alpha analyst expectations, and I'm also going to use a worksheet to find the present value of many years of earnings. Let's take a look. On a Seeking Alpha, first of all, let's look at this. This PE is 11. Now, we know that a lot of stocks are trading at 20 or 25 PE, which is kind of rich. This one's half as much. Isn't that a no-brainer? Isn't a PE of 11 a slam dunk? You would think so, and I would tend to agree with you. However, we have to, we have to get as much data as we can. So we look at earnings, we look at the earnings estimates, and this is Seeking Alpha's best guess based on a collection of analyst expectations. So for five years, we have data points from analysts, and it's actually going to go down year over year for a few years. So maybe it's not as attractive as we might think, but it's hard to know. It's going to start growing eventually in 2027. I'm going to use my worksheet. We're going to put this data in, and we're going to get a discounted value for those earnings and see what it gives me. So I have my worksheet. I made this. You can make your own. There's a bunch of them online. So I put in XOM. I put in a stock price. I have to give it some growth rate, which I'm going to use 5% because in 2027, someone thinks that it's going to be growing that much. I have to apply some discount rate so we can take future values to today. And I put in the three EPSs that I get, get from uh, Seeking Alpha. And it'll, it'll do the math for me. It'll grow it out and then discount it back. And the number it says that if we're using a 10% discount rate, a today price for all those earnings is 120. So it's not extremely expensive, 115 versus 120. If I pay below 120, I should expect to earn about a 10% return over many, many years. If I can get it far less than that, it'll enhance my return. I also have here four valuation formulas, and this is how I know what it's what a stock might be priced at. This green one is if it's very optimistic and it's above that optimistic price. We know this because uh, this peg, peg ratio uses the growth rate and we know it's not really a big grower, so this is not going to be quite as useful. And then 8.5 PE says that a low price would be around $87. And then because they're going to decline in earnings, that even goes down a little further. Very weird picture for ExxonMobil. But if, if uh, 103 might be a high price, maybe 50, 60 would be a low price. We know the present value of the earnings is around 120. Anything below 120 is good for me as an investor. Now that I know that, I will pass on this. It doesn't mean you won't make money if you already own it. It just means that you won't you shouldn't expect to make more than 10% over 5 to 10 years. I hope you found that useful. I was very blown away when I saw it, so I wanted to share it. Let me know in the comments if you have a stock that you're looking at and I will, if I get enough comments, I'll do that stock for you and I'll give you uh, some worksheet valuation analysis. Cheers.